Hi everybody, I'm Simon Ward of the triathloncoach.com and I'm speaking to you today because the organisers of the Carter Jonas Pedalthon in Yorkshire have asked me if I could give you some tips. So the first thing I'd like to say is I'm really looking forward to meeting you on the day and welcoming you to Yorkshire. You're going to get a chance to cycle around some of Britain's most fantastic countryside and what my job is to do is to try and help you enjoy that day to the maximum. Now, hopefully you've been doing some basic training up till now. Um, you will have entered one of two distances, either the 40 or the 80 mile route. Uh, but either of those is going to give you um, quite a, um, a challenging course, if you like, with some hills and some narrow uh, roads which require a bit of concentration. So you will need some reasonable bike handling and riding skills. But here are a few tips uh, to help you get through the day and to help you make the most of the next two weeks from 28 days out to 14 days out. So the first thing is that this is an opportunity for you to get into big training. Uh, if you don't have much time in the evenings after work then I'd suggest that you use that time effectively by doing some higher intensity interval work if you have an indoor trainer or just getting out and riding, maybe commuting from home and if it's safe to do so riding quite hard <clears throat> on a weekend you really want to be getting out there and introducing what I call some specificity. Now, given that you're going to have to ride some hills and some reasonably steep hills, um, and they will feel steep if you're from somewhere like Lincolnshire, um, then I suggest that that's what you do at the weekend when you've got a bit more time. Try and find as many hills as you can and get comfortable with not only climbing them at a good pace, but also descending. One of the other challenges that you might like to set yourselves in the next two weeks is to make sure that you can ride at least 80% of the distance that you've entered for. So that means that if you're doing the 40 mile ride, you need to be able to cover 32 miles. And if you're doing the 80 mile ride, you need to be able to cover 64 miles. I've no doubt that if you can do those distances within the next two weeks, then on the day when you're a little fresher and you've got all your friends and, and the other riders around you, you'll have the energy and adrenaline to get you through to the finish line. So that won't be a problem. So try and see if you can cover those distances if you haven't already. And if you have, well, that's great. Just carry on doing what you're doing um, and putting in the miles. The other thing that's going to help over the next few weeks is to make sure that you're eating good quality food because this is going to help um, fuel you for your training and to help with your recovery after the sessions. Okay, On the longer rides you also want to be uh, trying to take in some form of nutrition because on the day 40 or 80 miles is going to take you probably two, three, four, five, six hours and you will need to, to um, supply your body with some energy during that period. So Power Bar or High Five or SAS or any of those other energy products are great. Find the one that works for you and try to take in about 60 50 60 grams of carbohydrates per hour. But then when you're finished, make sure you have a good protein and carbohydrate meal to help you recover. Stay hydrated as the days get warmer and that will get you through. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about what you should be doing in the final 14 days before the event. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.